Usually they don't really want to so much for the rest of the council meeting. Okay? So moving on, certificates of recognition presented to the Lamita Legends. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, we're going to... Before we get started, we're going to test real quickly to see if Council Member Gaisley is, is with us. Council Member Gaisley, can you, uh, can you hear us? Just make sure you're not muted. I can hear you guys uh, very well and... Uh, Great. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, so this, this next presentation is uh, to commemorate our uh, Lomita Legends. Um, to commemorate our 60th anniversary this year, we asked residents to uh, nominate friends or neighbors that have unique historical connection to Lomita. Uh, these recognitions are based on the nominations received directly from the community, and we, and we are very excited to recognize these honorable citizens this evening. Uh, in fact, State Senator Ben Allen's office heard about our Lomita Legends program, and uh, we are honored to present certificates on his behalf recognizing these individuals. So we'll start with the first category. Um, Lomita residents who were born on our actual birthday of the city of Lomita, which is June 30th. We've received four names of residents sharing the same birthday as the city of Lomita. Uh, Valentina uh, uh, Hinojosa, if you could please come up. Christina Morgan, Margaret Moretti, and Tamina Khan. Please make your way up. And of course, happy birthday. you okay and our next category uh, our very own council member Sagawa and her husband uh, Chris Sagawa were married on June 30th happy anniversary And our, our next category, a bit of a blast from the past, uh, if we can please have uh, Patricia Willer-Stanley uh, come up, Etta Cuneford, and Victoria Hald, who are former Miss Lomitas. <laughs> Patricia was a contestant in the 1950s, uh, Victoria was crowned Miss Lomita in 1964, and Etta crowned in Okay, in our next category, we're going to recognize a very special person for their decades of service to uh, public service. If Letty Paz, can you please make your way up? <laughs> Letty is a resident of Lomita for over 30 years. She has dedicated 33 years of serving the city as an employee. So thank you very much for your service to the city of Lomita, Letty. 
Uh, passionate about customer service and community assistance, Letty has been actively involved with the Lomita Sister City Program and the Girl Scouts. She was recognized as Employee of the Year in 2021, contributing to fundraisers, volunteering her time to carpool those involved in the uh, Sheriff's Explorer Program, and demonstrating her overall commitment to supporting our community. Thank you, Letty. This next category recognized some uh, business entrepreneurs, uh, Robin Riddener, Kirk G Gasser, and the Rosso family. Please make your way up. Ro Robin and her family have deep roots in Lomita. Her father, Carl, operated Carl's Brake and Tire Shop, and her aunt, Mary, contributed significantly to Lomita's history through her work with the Historical Society. Their family story and photos are preserved in the history book of Lomita, solidifying their, her lifelong bond with Lomita. The Rosso's family's roots are also deep. Uh, Gary, Gary Rosso's great-grandfather, Andrew, founded Rosso's Egg Ranch on Walnut Street. Gary's grandfather delivered eggs across Lomita and met his wife, Nally, during his rounds. Four generations later, they continue to cherish their heritage in Lomita, preserving memories like the original business card from Rosso's Lomita Egg Ranch. Kirk founded Gasser's Garage in Lomita, a cornerstone of the community thriving under three generations. For 95 years, it has served, it has served with dedication in its original location, adapting to change while upholding quality service. Thank you for your business. And if uh, Susan Jones and uh, Alice Ferguson can make their way up. This next category is uh, early scholars. Uh, Susan Jones and Alice Ferguson have deep ties to Lomita's history. Susan moved to Lomita at age four, attending Eshelman Avenue School when it was Orange Street School and Narbonne High School during its early years as a six-year-old. Six Alice Ferguson, a lifelong resident, has generation generational roots in Lomita. Her father owned Bill and Frank service station, now the site adjacent to City Hall. Hello, Alice. She's my neighbor. <laughs> Okay, this next category recognizes uh, somebody who lives in the city's oldest house, built in 1908. Bob Schatz is 71 years old. Please make your way, Schatz, if you can make your way up, please. Bob fondly remembers simpler times when his mother walked to collect their mail before the neighborhood grew bustling around them. His deep roots in Lomita reflect the city's rich history over the decades. Thank you. <laughs> Manuel Marquez, if you can make, make your way up, please. Manuel Marquez, a 44-year resident of Lomita, founded the city's oldest martial arts school, Shaolin Temple Kung Fu School. Active in city functions, he has taught over 3,000 residents, instilling discipline and tradition. Manuel's skill has earned him champions uh, and gold medals representing Lomita regionally and nationally. OK, 
Okay, if... <laughs> Phil Gerard, Ronald Hammerly, and Gary Paulson, please make your way up. Phil has been a proud resident of Alameda since 1962, two years before it was incorporated. His deep root connection to the community spans decades, reflecting his, <laughs> reflecting his uh, commitment to Lomita's growth and development over the years. Ronald and his wife, Kathleen, moved to California on their honeymoon in 1956, planting their roots in Lomita. Ronald funded a successful construction, founded a successful construction company and raised seven children with Kathleen. Gary has lived in Lomita since 1948, building his childhood home on Woodward Avenue and excelling in track at Narbonne High School. Since 1978, he has owned Paulson Pastoring, Par 4 Sports Bar, and CJ Steakhouse, and manages rental properties across the city. Gary is known for his commitment and involvement in the community. Thank you so much. Okay, just a couple of more here. Can we please have Barbara Carswell, Virginia Allen, and Richard Leach, please come up. Barbara, who is 92, epitomizes community dedication. As a former den mother for the Lomita Boy Scouts and volunteer at Lomita Magnet School, she has consistently put others first. Barbara's love for gardening is evident in her beautiful garden, a testament to her passion for nature. Richard, known as Mo, is entering his 91st birthday and has lived in Lomita since 1941, remaining in the same house. A dedicated community member, Richard shares vivid stories from Lomita's past, preserving its rich history through its memories. And uh, Ginny, uh, Virginia, also known as Ginny, turns 100 in August, August 10th of this year. Originally from Chicago, she lives with her son, Jerry, and his family, longtime residents of Lomita. So, Barbara wanted to say a few words. Thank you so much for inviting me and my family to the Lomita City Council meeting. It is a great honor to be here. I moved to Lomita with my family in 1960 on 241st Street. My husband, Harry Carswell, was on the planning committee from July 73 to June 95, and the Community Resource Development Committee from October 74 to 79. I was a Girl Scout leader and a Club Scout leader. We raised our four children, John, Jim, Nanette, and Tammy. <coughs> Sorry, I'm nervous. They went to Lomita Elementary, Fleming Junior High, and Fairview High School. They were active in all the sports and classes at Lomita Park. I am still going to a balance class at the park and belong to the bingo group there. I now have 13 grandchildren, 16 great-grandchildren. I worked at Torrance Community Credit Union as a bookkeeper and worked my way up to the CEO. I retired in 1997. Again, thank you for the special evening. <laughs> And uh, Mayor and Council, this is our last category, and it's uh, 
honoring uh, two longtime residents who are no longer with us. Uh, Dwayne Darmon, known as the Lomita Sign Guy, recently passed away, leaving behind a legacy of community spirit and creativity. Renowned for his distinctive wood signs that adorned many homes in Lomita, he united the neighborhood through his craftsmanship. Dwayne's contributions will fondly be remembered by all who, touched, who were touched by his work. Dwayne's family is here today to accept his recognition on his behalf. If his family can please come up. Gertrude Carpenter Jury moved to Lomita in 1945, a, priv a pivotal year that marked the beginning of a new chapter in her life. It was in Lomita that she met her husband Floyd, and together they laid roots down to start a family. Gertrude's passion for her community and her love for nature were evident in her active role as an activist, advocating for causes close to her heart. Her dedication to preserving Lomita's history earned the title of the city's first historian, a role she embraced wholeheartedly. Gertrude's family is here to accept her recognition on her behalf. If her family can please come up. And that concludes our, our recognition of Lomita's Legends 2024.